March, lead the counterattack. I believe in you. that we're getting closer to the Stellaron and the heart of the Eternal Freeze. What is this? It's like an insect trapped in amber. I bet the Antimatter Legion forces never thought they'd be swallowed up by the Eternal Freeze when they invaded this world. Uh, even in the ice, could these guys still be alive? Still think up jokes right now. Did the architects build this? Very different from the uniform style of the buildings we saw in the city. If Kakolia threatens us by taking Branya hostage, we have to save her. The underworld. No, the. In Resist, Branya. Accept the common will. No! I... I don't want this. Look upon their promised future, Branya! A world without poverty, without cold, without suffering. A world where people no longer have to pray like prisoners for survival. A world that we can guard for all eternity. 700 years ago, we tried and fought unceasingly, believing that the radiance of human nature could shepherd us towards rejuvenation. <laughs> and to what end? A crushing defeat. Why, when faced with irrefutable strength, is our first thought always to resist, to cover our ears instead of hearing the call. It is the conceit and cowardice entrenched in the depths of human nature. So difficult to face. Cast them aside. Break free of the chains that bind you! The Stellaron will lead humanity to evolve, and they will! Your brainwashing ends here, you witch! Zila? You came. I thought the blizzards had entombed you. Huh. You wish! We're not going down before you do! Branya! I don't know what happened between you and them. Even if you explained it to me, I probably wouldn't understand all the crazy details. But there are two things I do know. One, these guys have come through hell to get here, to seal this Stellaron thing. And two, do you remember what I said? If anything happened to you, I'd save you. Do you understand? Even if the damage is done, even if you've completely forgotten our promise, then... then I'm just gonna have to knock you out and bring you back myself! Zila... All of you... <laughs> Finished? I think I've given you long enough to... bid farewell. It's time I told you my other reason. For bringing you here. I want to witness your choice. 
I've told you all the truths there are to tell. The deal with the Stellaron, the wish I made to it. There are no more secrets between us. Many years ago, the voice of the Stellaron sounded in my ears for the first time. I was no different from the previous generations of Guardians. I withdrew, refused to hear. I was as you are now, bitterly defending the Architect's so-called preservation. My conviction was once steadfast, unparalleled. Until a sudden change arrived and threw everything into chaos. Another choice appeared before me. A subversion of the old order. And the welcoming of a new world. And compared to the illusory, ever more distant preservation, this was so... tangible. I have agonized, long agonized, over how to convey all this to you. Inevitably, the promise tomorrow will transpire. But if you were not there beside me to watch over that new world, then I would descend into torment, Branya. Enduring torment. <laughs> Perhaps I should be thanking you, outsiders. The pressure you have imposed has at long last compelled me to confront my final weakness. Branya, throughout your life, I have never forced you to submit to my will. You have always, will always have a choice. As then, so now. Choose, my daughter. I am grateful to you for raising me and for allowing me the privilege of choice. But I... I am sorry, Mother. On this, our final occasion, I cannot stand with you. Hmm. You say that conceit and cowardice lie in the depths of human nature. <laughs> Perhaps you're right. Desperation sheds a light on the darkest recesses of the heart. Those simply struggling for survival, fighting for something better. I've witnessed their light on the front lines, in the underworld, in places you have overlooked. Our ancestors built this city, striving in the bitter snow to prolong our civilization. Even if this world is doomed to fall apart, we should allow humanity to pave the way to its final outcome not hand over our fate to the seed of ruin. We are Guardian's mother, chosen from among the masses. Our duty is to preserve the world built by humanity. We are not gods. We are not arbiters. You seek to crush human nature underfoot while masquerading as an, as an arbiter and a god. I cannot let you... So... This is your choice. I understand, Branya. Pity. Such a pity that you will never see that resplendent world. Unable to free yourself from the shackles of your mind. <sighs> you know what? You were supposed to be the mother of the new world. The ground! It's shaking! What's happening? <sighs> that sign! The fate of this city, of Bellabog, is sealed. Its future will unfold in our hands. And you will become the foundation of the new world. You must break the old to build the new. 
The Supreme Guardian commands you! Rise, Engine of Creation! It's one of the Architect's Engine Machines! Watch out, all of you!
Everything is ordained by the soul. Profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. have surrendered. You have the worst luck running in time. Let's go. is the only hope for this world. Just as it dispelled the Antimatter Legion 700 years ago, so too will it wipe you from the face of this world! Just a scratch. Take this! <sighs> Rules are made to be broken. their abilities. Let me bestow upon you despair! Why am I here? The last time I came here, I drew Nanook's gaze. Could it be? The 
commercial district has fallen. We've transferred the residents to the outer municipal district for the time being. The garrison lost 26 fighters. But I... Go on, Jepard. I... I'm not sure that they're dead. I saw their broken figures lingering in the fragmentum. What happened back there defied all reason. It was madness. Madam Guardian, if this continues... I know well the consequences, Jepard. You may leave. Researchers, their work is illegal. Why, Kakalia? Why have you grown so cold? Serval Landau, you were my most cherished friend. if we withdraw every guard. The automatons will ensure their safety. The most important defensive position is here on the surface. If our lines crumble, the underground will vanish in an instant. Our defenses here must be maintained at all costs. These are the choices we make, Branya. As a leader, you must harbor the courage and foresight to choose. You, me, and every Silver Main Guard in the city, all of us must carry out a higher mission. There will come a day when you must make your own choice. Do you understand? A higher mission? <laughs> it is too early, Branya. Still too early. You will understand when the time is right. Is fading. We 
could not defy the will of the Stellaron after all. Everything for 
ordained by the stars. Oh, profound secrets of the stars. Give these trailblazers your blessing. Gotta try hard sometimes. Check out this awesome move. I'm on guard. Defend the weak. Thank <laughs> you. 
ten lords. Execute the Marastruck! Trailblazing expedition. We made it! But, uh, what are we gonna do with the Stellaron? It's usually Mr. Yang who handles it. I've informed Himiko and Mr. Yang already. They'll seal the Stellaron. Nice! The crisis on this world is basically over, right? The storm still rages on. Now that the Stellaron is sealed, the Eternal Freeze will slowly recede. Fragmentum won't aggressively expand anymore, but nor will it disappear. Eurelo 6 has a chance to return to life, but it will take time. <laughs> it will depend on the efforts of the people here. Thank you. All of you. Thank you. I'm... I'm fine. Don't worry. There is still much to do. The people will have felt the effects of the engine of creation. There are so many questions to answer, so many truths to reveal. I don't know whether I can get the people to accept all this. really do that? Tell everyone about Mother's true motives? About a lie perpetrated for 700 years? No. No. No way. Zila. I... I don't know how to explain it, but I don't think there's any other way. In the underworld, we tell the kids, things will be better tomorrow. Everyone knows it's a lie, but it gets them to sleep with some hope. Can you imagine the consequences if we told the people what happened here? They'd be devastated. If we can't trust the Guardians, who or what can we trust? <sighs> Mother died to preserve Bellabot. What? The visitors from beyond the sky told her the secret of the Stellaron. She knew that Alyssa Rand, the first Supreme Guardian, had failed to destroy it. And yet, she decided to challenge its power, a, a power beyond human comprehension. Supreme Guardian Kokolia sacrificed herself to dispel the dark clouds enveloping this city. From here on out, that's the truth the world will hear. What do you think? It keeps the hope of preservation alive, at least. It's logical, and hard to disprove. Why do we have to lie? I'm abstaining. I like telling the truth. But I get what you're trying to do. Thank you for understanding. For many people, Mother was an outstanding guardian. 
the whole truth will live on in my mind. All the mistakes. Madness, evil. Dreams therein. I will be the one to carry that burden. Now, I must take over the duties of the Supreme Guardian and discard my naive fantasies. I'm sorry, Sila. Please, protect this secret with me till the end of our lives. Say no more. I know what to do. Thank you. Well then, as promised, let's start rebuilding the bridge between the overworld and the underworld. Sila, can you tell everyone in the underworld that the Stellaron has been sealed? And tell them the blockade will soon be over, and they will breathe freely again soon. Of course. Leave it to me. Nat's probably getting anxious about the delay. While you do that, I'll head back to the... administrative district. I need to tell Jabard. Serve. Huh. Are you okay? What's wrong, Branya? Do you feel sick? I'm... I'm fine. I need to... I need to hurry. Uh, she's exhausted! Quick, we need to think of something! Uh, you! Help me out here! Right. I almost forgot. You're still wanted by the guards. I might be an underworlder, but at least I don't stand out as much as you guys. That's settled then. I'll leave not to you. Remember to keep the secret. For Brun... No. For Bellobog's sake. So, wanna tell us what happened back there? Don't think you can just reappear on the battlefield with a cool weapon in your hands and skip the story. You drew the Amber Lord's gaze? Right at that moment? That's too much of a coincidence. She probably doesn't know what happened either. This wouldn't be the first time. Something similar happened when we faced the Doomsday Beast on the space station. Remember that glance from Nanook? Originally, we thought it was because the Stellaron was linked to the destruction. But now it seems to be more than that. We might need to speak with Mr. Yang to understand what's going on. Let's focus on the business at hand first. We shouldn't disrupt Himiko and Mr. Yang while they're dealing with the Stellaron. Let's talk once we're back on the Express. Mm, you're right. We need to finish what we started. Let's hurry up and find Natasha. Kids move fast. By the look on your faces, I assume you come bearing good news? Mm-hmm. You bet. You might not believe this, but we summoned up all our strength, and then... Uh, maybe she 
should do the talking. I'm no good at serious stuff. I'll probably say something I'll regret. We were there at the fight. We witnessed everything. Uh, sacrificed herself, huh? Sure, yeah, that's the whole story. <sighs> Kakolia, in order to save Bellabog, she... <sighs> I see. So the massive tremors we felt earlier were a result of the battle, right? the back? Thank you. I can't even imagine what you've been through up there. I'm just glad everything turned out all right. Oh, what about Zila? Don't worry, she's all right. It took a big toll on Branya, so Zila took her over to the guards. Oh, good. I'm so glad you're all okay. Now that Kokolia is no more, I guess our Silvermane girl is about to become the next Supreme Guardian? Hmm. She sees things through and doesn't go back on her word. The Underworld will thrive again under her watch. Mm-hmm. Oh, we brought you a message from Branya. <clears throat> the blockade will soon be lifted. The people of the Underworld will breathe freely. Breathe freely. <laughs> That's been our wish all along. March, Don Hung, and you. Can I ask for your help again? I want to get this news out to everyone. It'll lift their spirits and bring them hope. Thank you. Choose whoever you like. Wildfire will take care of the rest. We've gotten to know a lot of Underworlders. Who do you think we should start with? Roger that. You can leave the rest to us. If everything goes smoothly, <laughs> this should be Wildfire's final mission. Do you think the Great Mine was affected by our fight? Waiting on this. Take it. I'm afraid we're short on goods and materials right now. Oh, well, we actually have enough for the moment. You hang on to it. Hey, are you guys causing trouble again? It's you! Oh, no, no, you misunderstand. There was a huge quake at the mine just now. Part of it collapsed. The vagrants here hadn't stopped to help. I doubt we'd have gotten everyone out in one piece. I was just discussing how to repay them. It's a shame the mining team's hard up right now. Oh, to do with us? Eh, yeah, I'm listening. Whoa, you mean to say that we're about to be reunited with the Overworld? Are you serious? This has got to be a dream. Good things don't happen to us. Today they do. And you're not dreaming. If you don't believe us, pinch yourself. 
If things go back to the way they were ten years ago, then the mining team can finally escape this poverty. And you won't have to rely on the charity of others. We'll finally be living with the dignity we deserve. I... <laughs> Thank you, outsiders, from the bottom of my heart. The mining team will remember you as heroes, as will the rest of the underworld. Please tell Natasha that we're ready to get back to work. If the cable car station can start operating again, we'll dispatch a mining representative to negotiate with the architects. Nicely, but the reality is this. We sealed the Stellaron, but that's not gonna solve the problems on this planet. There I was getting excited to tell everyone the good news. That's the cruelty of a Stellaron. Still, compared with some of the other planets we visited, at least this one has hope. Should we tell everyone the deal? We should tell Branya when the time's right. Let's not dampen the spirit just yet. now. I wish you all a journey that is free of illness. Oh, is everyone all right? Thanks for your help. <laughs> I'm flattered. Now we just have to wait for the official news. I hope Rania doesn't keep us too long. Huh. Do you think Sparog and Clara felt the effects of our battle with the Guardian? I think they'll be fine. Plus, Sparog's devotion to Clara is even greater than his hostility to Wildfire. If you're worried, you could look for them over at the robot settlement. Outsiders. For friends of Clara. How did you know that was Perkins? The, 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 thank you for rescuing. Clara. Seems like Perkins picked up a stammer. Its language module must have malfunctioned. Can you take us to Clara? Outsiders are f friends of Clara. Visitors, Clara. Oh, it's the variables. There was a huge shaking just now coming up through the ground. Mr. Sparks said it 
must have been... Recalculating. Conclusion. Engine of creation. 97.66% probability. The engine of creation was an immense construction machine created by the architects. It was not built to fight. Well, whatever. We won. Thanks to that giant robot, we were finally able to take care of the Stellaron. And Branya made a promise. The Underworld and the Overworld will soon be reunited. Which means that you, Svarog... Um, you won't have to worry about preserving the Underworld for the time being. March, everyone, thank you so much. I wasn't sure you guys would be able to do it, but... But now... Mr. Svarog, what do you say? You guys said you were travelers from other worlds, right? I want to be just like you. One day, I'm gonna go traveling to faraway places and make new friends. Calculation result. Update. Mission number 0001. Preserve the underworld. Complete. She certainly moves a lot faster than some people I know. If you haven't got anything nice to say right now, zip it. <laughs> <laughs>